डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस वन न्यू चैप्टर प्रोसेस कॉस्टिंग इन सब्जेक्ट एडवांस अकाउंटिंग एंड ऑडिटिंग पेपर थ्री फॉर क्लास सेकेंड ईयर बी कॉम सेमिस्टर फोर वीर नर्मद साउथ गुजरात यूनिवर्सिटी मीनिंग ऑफ प्रोसेस कॉस्टिंग बिफोर वी अंडरस्टैंड द टर्म प्रोसेस कॉस्टिंग लेट एस चेक द टर्म प्रोसेस प्रोसेस इज अ डिस्टिंक्ट स्टेज इन मैन्युफैक्चर और प्रोडक्शन वेर इन रॉ मटीरियल इज कन्वर्टेड फ्रॉम वन आइडेंटिफाइबल फॉर्म इन टू अनदर बिफोर इट इज फाइनली कन्वर्टेड इन टू द सेलेबल फाइनल प्रोडक्ट नेक्स्ट प्रोसेस कॉस्टिंग इट इज अ मैथड ऑफ कॉस्टिंग वेर बाई कॉस्ट आर चार्ज टू प्रोसेस और ऑपरेशन एंड एवरेज ओवर यूनिट्स प्रोड्यूस्ड द प्लांट और अ फैक्ट्री इज डिवाइडेड इन टू अ नंबर ऑफ प्रोसेस कॉस्ट सेंटर्स और डिपार्टमेंट्स मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एक्टिविटी इज कैरीड ऑन कंटिन्यूसली बाय मीन्स ऑफ वन और मोर प्रोसेस रन सिक्वेंशियली सिलेक्टिवली और पैरेलली output of one process becomes the input of the next process and so on until the final product is obtained separate account is prepared for each process to ascertain cost thereof and that is known as process account so from this discussion we can say that process is a distinct stage of manufacture or production wherein raw material is converted into a semi finished goods and finally a finished product manufacturing activity in process carries on continuously or sequentially or selectively or parallelly and output of one process becomes raw material or we can say input for the second process till the final product is obtained or produced to ascertain the cost of a process a separate account is prepared known as process account further during process an adequate records are kept in respect of output and scrap of each process during the period the cost per finished output of each process is obtained by dividing the total cost incurred during period of process by the number of units produced during the period after giving due regard to losses and amount recovered from scrap and for that we use formula cost per finished output of process is equal to total cost of process minus proceeds of scrap divide by actual output of the process as products pass from one process to another the accumulated cost of output of a process is transferred to the next process just like raw material of that process here we decide the cost per finished output and for that we use formula total cost of process minus proceeds of scrap divided by actual output of the process now let us see the elements of production cost or a process cost and the cost elements are direct materials direct labor direct expenses and production overheads in process costing a separate account is kept for each process normally we call it as a process account the account the process account is debited with the value of materials consumed labor's charge and overheads relating to that particular process the value of by products and scrap if any is credited to the account and the balance of this account representing the cost of partially worked out product and is passed to the next process so on until the final product is 
completed. Thus, the finished product of one process becomes the raw material or input of the next process. Here we see the elements of production cost or a process cost and it is nothing but material, labor, direct expenses and production overheads. All these costs are debited to respective process until the final product is obtained. Application of process costing method. The process costing method is applied in chemical works, soap making companies, box manufacturing company, paper mills, oil refining, textile weaving and spinning mills, food products, paint, ink and vanishing etc. meat producing factory and milk dairy. All these industries use process costing method to ascertain the final cost and selling price of their finished product. Now let us see the process losses. Process losses can be broadly classified into two categories. One is a normal process loss and the other is abnormal process loss. A normal process loss. It is the loss which is unavoidable on account of inherent nature of production process. Such loss can be estimated in advance on the basis of the past experience or available data. The normal process loss is recorded only in terms of quantity and as a result the cost per unit of usable product production is increased accordingly. Where scrap possesses some value as a waste product, the value thereof is credited to the process account along with loss quantity. This reduces the cost of normal output. Second is abnormal process loss. Any loss caused by unexpected or abnormal conditions such as plant breakdown, substandard materials, carelessness, accident etc or loss in excess of the margin anticipated for normal process loss should be regarded as abnormal process loss. Here the units of abnormal loss or abnormal gain are calculated as under that abnormal loss is equal to actual loss minus normal loss and the value of abnormal loss is calculated that normal cost of normal output divided by normal output multiply units of abnormal loss. So students here I would say simply the normal loss is a loss which is unavoidable in nature and is due to inherent nature of production process and normal loss will reduce the quantity of final output. And due to normal loss, cost per unit of usable product or a final product of the process is increasing. An abnormal process loss is loss caused by unexpected or abnormal conditions such as plant breakdown, substandard material, carelessness, accident, etc. Or loss beyond the normal loss or expected loss is also termed as abnormal process loss. So here we can say abnormal loss is equal to actual loss minus normal loss. And by using the formula we can calculate the value or cost of abnormal loss. Abnormal loss will be recorded in process account on credit side. Now let us see the formats of process account, abnormal loss account and abnormal gain account. Process account. On process account we prepare something like particulars quantity of input amount. Particulars quantity and amount. On debit side very first two previous process transfer in. We have assumed this is our second process. In first process there is no question of previous process transfer. In second process the material of material output of first process becomes input for the second process. So here it is two previous process transfer in quantity units 
and amount accumulated from process 1 then two direct materials of second process itself direct wages paid for the process direct expenses incurred for the process and production overhead charge to the process will be recorded as an expense in process account on debit side and on credit side we record by normal loss quantity by abnormal loss if any quantity with cost and then finally by subsequent process that is production transferred to next process quantity and its cost and here on debit side we record to abnormal gain if any quantity and its cost price my dear students here you understand abnormal loss or abnormal gain uh, both can never occur together either there would be an abnormal loss of the process or there would be an abnormal gain in the process both can never occur together abnormal loss is a unexpected loss or loss beyond normal loss whereas abnormal gain is nothing but loss below the normal loss and finally process account gets closed now we prepare abnormal loss account abnormal loss account is recorded in process account on credit side so here in abnormal loss account debit side we will record to process account quantity and amount and finally these abnormal loss units will be sold in the market as a scrap so by bank scrap realization quantity and amount and by closing account we get some balance on credit side this will be nothing but our loss and this loss balancing figure will be transferred to costing profit and loss account an abnormal loss account gets tally if there is an abnormal gain an abnormal gain we record in process account on debit side so in abnormal gain account credit side we record by process account quantity and amount and on debit side we record to normal loss account it is nothing but adjustment of transfer from normal loss to abnormal gain quantity and cost price and finally the balancing figure is nothing but our profit of abnormal gain and it will be transferred to costing profit and loss account and finally our abnormal gain account will be tally my dear students here we record to normal loss account why because due to abnormal gain our normal loss was reduced and that is why normal loss account is adjusted against abnormal gain and our accounting entry will be abnormal gain account debit to normal loss account and finally our abnormal gain account will get tally dear students thank you very much for watching this video lecture very soon we will meet with a solution of process costing sum in next lecture thank you thank you very much